Hello everyone, my name is S. N. Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss Fourier transform topic in which we discuss the problem using Fourier integral representation show that the integration 0 to infinity lambda cube sine lambda x divided by lambda raised to 4 plus 4 with respect to lambda is equal to pi by 2 e raised to minus x cos x where x is positive. Okay, now in this type of problem, here the question is what is the f of x and which transform we should use here. So here the right hand side, the right hand side we consider the f of x. Let f of x is equal to pi by 2 e raised to minus x into cos x where x is positive, say equation number 1. Now, which transform we should use here? There are three transform we uh, familiar, Fourier transform, Fourier cosine transform, Fourier sine transform. See in the left hand side, in LHS, the sine lambda x is present here. Then definitely this is the Fourier sine transform. Okay. So from left hand side, we use Fourier sine transform. Then by definition of Fourier sine transform, Fourier sine transform, capital E of suffix S, yes, S yes for sine is equal to, is equal to, it can be also written as f of x, okay, integration 0 to infinity, f of x, sine of lambda x with respect to x integration. In uh, the sum uh, book, yeah, some authors apply the symmetrical formula they use here under root 2 upon 5. Okay. We prove this uh, result using symmetrical formula also. There will be a no difficulty. Okay. Now we substitute the f of x in equation number 2, capital f of lambda suffix s is equal to integration 0 to infinity, the value of the f of x is right hand side pi by 2 e raised to minus x cos x sine of lambda x with respect to x integration. Okay. Now there are in under integral there are three function exponential, cosine, sine function. Okay. And there is no standard result for solving this integration. But there is a formula. One formula is that e raised to ax cos bx yeah, e raised to x sine bx. So in order to apply this formula, so we convert this uh, cosine sine term multiplic multiplication term in terms of addition. So we know we know the result. The result is uh, two times sine a cos of b is equal to sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b. So here we consider a as a lambda x and uh, b as a x. That is uh, 2 times 2 times sine lambda x cos of x. Okay. So here sine of a is lambda x, lambda x plus b is x, x is common, that is lambda plus 1. Okay, it can be written as lambda plus 1, x is common. Similarly here, sine of uh, lambda minus 1, x is common. Okay. So instead of uh, sine lambda x into cos, we write sine lambda plus 1 into x plus sine lambda minus 1 into x. The 2 is not there. So we adjust here 2, multiply and divide 2 here. Otherwise, uh, 2 is a divide here. We get Otherwise, we extend one more step, uh, 0 to infinity, we multiply and divide 2 here, that is it become pi by 4, e raised to minus x, 2 times, 2 times sine lambda x, cos of x dx. The multiplication is commuted to sine a into cos b is same as cos b into sine b. Okay. Now, from this result, we can write 
pi by 4 is constant uh, 0 to infinity e raised to minus 6 and instead of this we write sine lambda plus 1 into x plus sine lambda minus 1 into x with respect to x integration. Now apply the linearity property of integration. There are two uh, function a plus b. Okay, it can be written as pi by four integration uh, zero to infinity e raised to minus x sine lambda plus one into x with respect to x integration plus uh, zero to infinity e raised to minus x sine lambda minus one into x with respect to x integration. Now here we have the formula. The formula is e raised to ax sine bx with respect to x integration is equal to e raised to ax upon a square plus b square in bracket a sine bx minus b cos of bx. Okay. Now in first term, first term, if you compare this formula, the coefficient of x is a, the coefficient of x is minus 1. And the coefficient of x is in uh, angle, the coefficient of x is b. And here the coefficient of x is lambda plus 1. Similarly, in second term, a is minus 1 and b, uh, b is c here, the b is lambda minus 1. Okay, now apply the formula. We get pi by 4 constant term e raised to minus x divided by divided by uh, now some simplified step here 1 upon uh, minus a square means minus 1 square plus lambda minus 1 bracket square okay lambda plus 1 bracket square so it can be written as minus 1 square is 1 so I am direct right 1 plus lambda plus 1 bracket square okay in bracket in bracket a a is minus sine lambda plus 1 into x now b b is lambda plus 1 okay don't confuse here the b is lambda plus 1 into cos bx cos lambda plus 1 into x now this is the first integration limit 0 to infinity now plus the integration of second term uh, e raised to minus x divided by uh, a square means minus 1 square is plus 1 plus b is now b be careful here b is lambda minus 1 okay now in bracket minus means a a uh, sine lambda minus 1 x now minus b b is here lambda minus 1 cos of lambda minus 1 into x bracket complete and this bracket is complete 0 to infinity and this is the close bracket okay let us verify here again e raised to integration of e raised to ax sine bx is a square plus b square uh, a sine bx minus b cos bx okay but okay correct similarly here the b is lambda minus 1 okay now applying the limit upper limit lower limit uh, pi keep pi by 4 as it is uh, when we put the upper limit throughout uh, put x is equal to infinity we know that the e raised to minus infinity e raised to minus infinity e raised to minus infinity is 0 okay upper limit is uh, 0 here minus lower limit lower limit uh, we put uh, throughout x equal to 0 e raised to 0 is 1 okay now here uh, sin 0 is 0 cosine 0 is 1 okay now here we put uh, upper limit uh, sorry lower limit e raised to 0 is 1 that is a 1 upon uh, 1 plus lambda plus 1 bracket square sine 0 is 0 uh, minus 
lambda plus one, okay, cos zero is one. Now this is a first term. Now plus second term. Now put upper limit. Again same e raised to minus infinity is zero. The total term is zero. Upper limit is zero. Minus lower limit. Lower limit. Put x equal to zero. E raised to zero is one. One upon one plus lambda minus one bracket square. Okay, in bracket sine zero is zero. Minus cosine zero is one, and this lambda minus one. Okay, bracket complete here. Now. This bracket and this is a closed bracket. Okay, so what we get? Uh, we get pi by four as it is outside the term. Sorry, inside the term. Uh, this minus sign is multiplied here minus minus plus. That is lambda plus one divided by. Now I am expanding this lambda plus one bracket square. That is lambda square. What is the formula? Lambda plus one bracket square is equal to lambda square plus two lambda plus one, and if minus sign then here minus, and here plus is present here, so we get lambda square plus two lambda plus one, and here already plus one is here, that is plus two. Okay, this is the simplification of first term. Now plus. Uh, this minus sign is multiplied here. That is minus minus plus lambda minus one divided by divided by again here uh, lambda square minus two lambda plus one and here already plus one. That is plus one plus one plus two. Now this is the simplified square. Okay. Now see the denominator here. Uh, lambda square plus two here. Lambda square plus two here. Plus two lambda. Minus two lambda. So this term as like a plus b into a minus. B. Okay. So uh, here uh, you uh, the we multiplied take cross multiplication. Hmm? We get is equal to capital E of half lambda. The pix s is equal to is equal to now here the actual term is a plus b. Into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Okay. So what is a? A is equal to lambda square plus two. And what is b? Is two lambda. See again we discuss the lambda square plus two is a and b is two lambda. Okay. Now the term is multiplied to the lambda plus one. And this term multiplied to the lambda minus one and divided by a plus b into a minus b as such. So we get uh, we get lambda is multiplied here. I'm writing again same step here. Okay. In order to avoid the confusion, uh, I'm repeat the same term pi by four. Lambda plus one divided by divided by lambda square plus two plus two lambda plus lambda minus one lambda square plus two minus two lambda. Okay, see here the a is this is a and this is b. Similarly, now take cross multiplication. So we get uh, pi by four. The lambda is multiplied here. That is lambda cube plus two lambda minus two times lambda cube. Now one is multiplied here. Lambda square plus two minus two lambda. Now plus. Now the term is multiplied here. Uh, lambda cube plus two lambda plus two lambda cube. Okay, minus one is multiplied here. Uh, that is. Lambda square minus two minus two lambda. Okay. In denominator, denominator a square minus b square. That is lambda square plus two bracket square minus two times lambda bracket square. a square minus b square is equal to pi by four in bracket. Now which term is cancelled here? Uh, two 